I'm a misandrist. I'm a feminazi. I'm a communist. I have an Oedipus complex. I must be really, really, really fucking This is the life of ADF. In December 2009, ADF wrote a post claiming that she was androgynous. That means I identify with both male and female genders. So, I am transgendered. She then updates her history on DeviantArt, giving herself an alternative background. She now claims that she is of mixed race. I am Puerto Rican on my father's side, and German slash Jewish on my mother's side. My mother's ancestors came from Israel. Before then, a part of Germany, what used to be known as Konigsberg, East Prussia, now Kaliningrad, Russia and my father and family is from Bayamon, Puerto Rico. None of this is true, but it's being used to present a new Jewish Hispanic identity for herself from her special interests. On December 12th, she claimed to have finally had sex with John, and that she really hopes that John would cosplay Naruto for her next year. John claims that none of this happened, and that they were never sexually intimate. At one point, John showed ADF some gay pornography. ADF reacted shocked and disgusted by the sight of the sexual images, freaked out by graphic homosexual acts. Meanwhile, at home, the conflict between ADF and Jacqueline had become too much for them to live together. And so, ADF agreed to move out by the 30th of June, 2011. John supported ADF in her decision, but did not want her living with him. ADF spent the next Christmas alone, when Jacqueline decided to spend the holiday away with her boyfriend, taking a break from ADF until the new year. Later in the month, she started replying to tweets by fellow lol cow Chris Chan, angrily insulting her. CC Solitude says, I have just replied to the set of letters in the 23rd mailbag. I detest the homos and all people who continue to label me. You are a closet homo, Chrissy! CC Solitude says, I, Christian Weston Chandler, am straight and I will remain as such forever. Quit mislabeling me and my characters. Gay pride forever! Fuck your cure! CC Solitude says, taking deep breaths. Stress getting you down, you poor homophobic man child. Shut up! Bar! Autistic crybaby. I, Christian Weston Chandler, do not support gay life whatsoever. Gays, lesbians, bisexuals, transgenders unite against the autistic man child, Christian. This was the first of many attempts to join the Encyclopedia Dramatica trolls in going after their biggest targets. At the start of 2010, ADF claimed she was attacked by a mugger, who ADF described as a large black male. Unlike the last time ADF was assaulted, ADF now claimed to have got the upper hand, disarming and knocking him unconscious in what she called Sasuke Uchiha style. After this, she explains her new name and identity and why she now chooses to go by Ahuvia Haral. Recently, I decided no longer to display my gender on DA profile. I no longer wish to be pigeonholed into being either male or female. That's right. I am transgendered.
For some of you, I already told you that I am gay, but I also transgendered slash androgyne. Why Ahuvia? Ahuvia is gender neutral. It can be either male or female. Given the fluidity on my gender identity, it's perfect for me. What nationality is Ahuvia Haral? It sounds very pretty. It's Hebrew. That's right, as in Israel. Ahuvia means loved by God. Haral, my surname, means mountain of God. Therefore, I am a loved mountain of God. I picked Ahuvia because I do not have to suffix around with Philippe slash Felicia anymore. And I do not want to be treated like... Israeli? Aha, that's why you are so stubborn. You Sasuke Teme. Hmm. <laughs> Jews, just like the Uchiha, are stubborn people. But, gotta give credit for Israel for existing for over 60 years in a neighbourhood that pretty much hates Israel's guts, the Middle East. Are you Jewish? Should that matter to you? Whether or not I am Christian, Jewish, or agnostic slash atheist. Actually, to be honest, I might consider Judaism. I hope to find a synagogue accepting of LGBT people someday. Do you speak Hebrew? I speak a couple of words, and I know the Hebrew alphabet. I will be learning Hebrew this year as one of my New Year's resolutions, along with getting that long list of cosplay stuff done. Spending more time with Yellow Case Artist, my Dobe. Taking up martial arts lessons, like Aikido or Krav Maga. Upgrading to aggressive inline skates, and sticking to my vegetarian, borderline vegan diet. And keeping fit all around. Oh yeah, and finishing up Forgotten Lilies. If I had the time for everything, God damn it. Uh, Ahuvia, well what, what about the other names you makers call you by? I still answer by the following name, in case my Hebrew name two over your head. Sasuke Uchiha, because you can't resist that emo bastard. Sakura Haru now. Trust me, it'll stick a while after I unveil my Sakura cosplay. What about Akihito slash Aki? Philippe and Felicia. Since Akihito and Aki and Felicia Felipe was already used by my characters, I decided to steer away from Christian and Japanese names, with the exception of Sasuke. Her past identities had been too muddied with the Koreen Kochan High School situation, along with being dead names of her previous gender. It seems Judaism was a new way for her of being a Huvia Haral. On John's birthday, ADF wrote a long post about how she feels about their relationship. I know we have been only together for six months now, but he really means a lot to me, and he has done a world of good to empower me too. I love John a lot. Notice I did not say Naruto or Dobe. I want you guys to know him by his real name, not the Sasu Naru slash Naru Sasu pet names we call each other. I recently requested off for Valentine's Day weekend. I want to use that opportunity to really get to know him more and John to get to know me more. He really respects me a lot and so I do with him. He's the first serious relationship I've had where I am treated as an equal and duly respected. I want John and I to be together. I really see us living together as a couple in his apartment someday. It may be next year, I don't know. And we do each other's part to keep up the apartment, cook and overall have fun. Hell, someday we might get married. He can be the husband and I can be the wife. You can imagine, if I look beautiful as Sakura Haruno, how beautiful would I look in a wedding dress? So wish John, my Naruto, a happy birthday. After spending so much on Sakura cosplay, she was almost four months behind on board payments and other expenses. Her $8.50 an hour job at Wawa was not enough, so she planned to quit and find one with a larger salary. During this time, she was still in the closet to her mother. I am not officially out about being transgender to my mother. However, it's not like I am trying to hide it at all. Right now, I am cosplaying Sakura Haruna around the house. Lipstick, makeup and all. As an icebreaker, I, last night, did give a picture of myself dressed as with Sakura to her. I do not see any real opposition to me cosplaying Sakura in front of her. 
from her reaction to that photograph. She came out to her mother a couple weeks later and she apparently took it well. My mum is thrilled to have a daughter who is still her son and has pink hair. Gaining more interest in Judaism, she then attended her local reform synagogue. During this time, ADF was still at home with Jacqueline and grew a distaste for her living space, claiming she was running out of space in her room and had noisy as fuck African-American neighbours. The tension with Jacqueline only continued, with ADF claiming to be the fucking breadwinner in the house and that there had been periodic fights over money increasing in frequency and near violence in some cases. Two ADF moving out couldn't come quick enough. On March 11th, ADF posted another Q&A explaining her gender identity to her followers. Can you all refer to me as female instead of male from now on? I know this irritates the shit out of some people but I am increasingly uncomfortable being referred to as male. I used to be really neutral about whatever gender I chose to identify as, but now I'm starting to develop a preference for what gender I want to identify as. Why, you would ask? I am transgendered. I, for some time, have now accepted myself as identifying as both genders. Now, I really to go back to identifying as one gender, this time as female. Also, within the last months, I did remove my gender from my profile. That will change shortly to female. This will confuse people, I know, but the only thing I care about is whether or not I am happy. And right now, I am not happy, so I need to do what will feel right to me. Does your boyfriend, aka Dobe, know that you are transgendered? Yes, he does. I told him about it not too long ago. I hope he does remain by my side through this time, and beyond, I love him and he respects me a lot. I am very sure he will support me, even if I decide to go through with a sex reassignment operation. Will you, Aki-chan, be getting a sex change operation in the future? Yes, but not right away. I want to move out long before I go through with this decision. And to give a timetable, I wish to have an operation done by 2014. By that time, I reach 29 years old, pretty much. Sasuke, you are doing this for attention. This is some sort of phase, isn't it? No, it is not. I am not doing this for attention. And it's not a phase either. I am taking this extremely seriously. So I ask that you do too. If you have any respect for me. So what pronoun are we to use around Akichan now? Please call me she. I don't appreciate he, she or being referred to as the guy want to be a girl or the girl who was a guy. I now start to find that really degrading. What names are we to call you from now on? You can still call me Sasuke, or Sakura, or if you know me in person, Ahuvia. Those names will be unaffected by this announcement. Are you out to your mother? Yes, and she accepts me as her daughter. She supports me 100%. She also declares that she wears a full-time wig, this being a Sakura pink cosplay wig. On the 14th of March, ADF drew an Israeli version of the Kraktor Jet, a minor character in the Sonichu comics. She made this because she knew that the creator, Christian, was anti-Semitic, and she believed that this drawing would upset them. She also started the paperwork to apply for a name change, changing her full legal name to Ahuvia Rotem Haral. At the end of March, she updates her followers on the many troubles she had been experiencing. I've been really feeling quite stagnant creativity wise. I mean, I know I have a lot on my plate right now. My male to female transition, cosplaying, trying to get a place to move in the summer, converting to reform Judaism, work and other life things. Am I taking it on too much or what? Shit, I really need to move out from my mum's place. I think I will greatly benefit in the new environment, especially if I get my South Philly location, and I miss being with John. I'm so frustrated right now, and desperate. The transition, money troubles, 
and relationship with mother falling apart really took a toll on her for the worst. On the 10th of April, ADF attempted suicide. She wrote about this, saying, I decided to give my work a phone call when I got back home and informed them I wanted to kill myself. And I asked them to call my mother about it. And there I was in the kitchen for two hours, sharp as knife I can find pointed towards my chest. Mum never called back to even see I was okay. My work didn't call to see I'm still alive or whatever. Someone did care though to make sure I am okay. And it wasn't my dobe, John. Rena Quicksilver taught me out the idea of killing myself over AIM and eventually over the phone. Within 20 minutes, I did find the strength to put my knife away. Rena Quicksilver was another cosplayer who ADF started a friendship with. On April 14th, ADF obtained a court order for a name change for a New Jersey court. She picked a New Jersey court over a Philadelphia one because the former apparently offered a faster service. And also because, I want my old name to be retired to the dustbin of history in my old state. After this, ADF threatened to report her workplace for violations of Philadelphia's fair practice ordinances. She asked them to change her name to Ahuvia on Wawa's official records immediately and not use her dead name. While this did not happen straight away, after her name change was granted on the 7th of May, Wawa followed them. While this was going on, ADF's relationship with John was falling apart. An ex-boyfriend of John's, who was referred to as Lee, turned up outside John's house, threatening to commit suicide due to John's rejection. John posted a journal about this with a photo of Lee's blood and one of Lee in John's bed touching himself. ADF responded to this with a gif of Sasuke scowling. Not long after this, John contracted MRSA. John posted this on his DeviantArt page, referencing the fact that John may have caught it from Lee when they were together. John states that because of this, he decided to isolate myself from other people until I can be cured of this infection. ADF saw this as an affair John had cheating on her and felt betrayed. ADF turned up to John's house unannounced and sent him a note. After my psychiatrist appointment at... I'm coming over to talk to you about Lee and whether or not you want any future relationship with me. I do not tolerate cheaters. To this, John replied, why would I want to talk to you about Lee? Do you think I want a relationship with him? I don't want to be in a relationship with anyone. I just want to be friends. I always just wanted to be friends with him and with you. In case you've not figured it out yet, let me put it to you clearly. Lee and I are dead. We are no more than walking dead waiting to fall over and decay. I do not need any more stress in my life. Later that same day, John posted this update. Do not stop by my house without my consent. I do not like unexpected visitors, nor should you be bothering the only person willing to take care of me, as I am no longer able to take care of myself. By dropping off the note, ADF interrupted John's roommate, who was sleeping at the time. Around an hour later, ADF responded. Terrible news I need to report about Yellow Case Artist. We are no longer seeing each other anymore. He does not want any relationship with me, and he does not even have the will to even live. In addition, he is dying of methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA. MRSA is a flesh eating disease that is resistant to most classes of antibiotics. John contracted MRSA after sleeping with another man I did not know was living with him. Named Lee only a scant two weeks after meeting me on the 11th slash 12th of August 2009. So John is dying of MRSA and he does not want to put me through any suffering seeing him. That is why we broke up. John replied explaining that he was not dying and claimed that he and ADF had never been dating. A couple days later ADF left another note at John's house 
reading. Me or Lee John, pick one. I will not be played and cheated on. This threatening note was written on a receipt for bagels and cookies. John replied on DeviantArt saying, First, Lee's name is not Lee. Second, I am not dating Lee, nor was I ever. I was sleeping with Lee. I was never sleeping with you. Third, play you? If I wanted to play you, I would have asked you to buy me things. Or for cash. This is what players do. I know, I used to a player. I never asked you for anything. Fourth, I never said I wanted to be more than friends. Fifth, if you come to my house again, I will ask you to leave. Sixth, if you do not leave, I will call the police. Seventh, I took your name and other uniquely identifying things off this note. I did this because I mean you no harm. If you continue like this, my next journal entry will name you. If you know this person, please ask them to leave me alone. After all this drama, the two of them separated and never spoke again. Four days after this, ADF came out to her followers, now identifying as a lesbian. Other matters I do not wish to focus on recent events anymore. There's something I want to tell you all. As much as I told you I am a female, you'll probably be a little surprised. I, Ahuvia Haral, am a lesbian female. Ahuvia Haral? Lesbian? Yes. Sorry boys, I am into girls. Hey, I gotta say this. Tried being straight male? Didn't work. Tried being straight female? Didn't work. Both failed. I feel naturally comfortable being in relationships with other women. Girls are easier to approach and talk to than guys. My instincts are just simply programmed that way in my brain, just as I feel like a woman. So TDLDR? Ahuvia is a female lesbian trapped in a male's body. Shortly after this, she claimed she was in a relationship with a woman named Sarah. Sarah was never mentioned again after this post. Many speculate that she was never real, but a coping mechanism to get over her rejection. Both ADF and John deleted their posts. ADF replacing them with a poll asking, In light of recent events, do you think transphobia exists with gay men? After this, she posted a video on YouTube about how she plans on going on HRT. Hello everyone, uh, it is me, Ahuvia Harrell, or as you know on DeviantArt, um, ADF Gwen Saluda, or as you know me on YouTube, ADF Sasuke Evolution. Uh, welcome to my first transition video. Um, as you are aware, three months ago I announced on DeviantArt and came out to my, uh, my mother that I am trans. I am transgender. I have already taken the very first step in getting my name changed. Um, I have right here a court order from the county of Gloucester, New Jersey. Um, if you guys are wondering why I got my name changed in New Jersey, um, two reasons, cost and just expedience. I want it cheap and I want it fast. Those were the pick and Pennsylvania would have been a little more of a wait for me and it would have been more money. So I opted to go back to my home county of Gloucester County, New Jersey and get my name changed. Um, I'd like to just quickly thank you guys um, for how accepting you guys have been with my um, with my um, transition and I just you know I'm just wowed by all the support I've been getting online and you know offline in the real world even you know from my mother and her boyfriend um, quite a few of my remaining family members a couple people are still a little slow on the science of what's about to go on it's not so much they're ignorant it's just you know they just it's a lot for them to take in and you know and I'm doing it so pretty fast, it's, it's like, it's hard for them to even keep up. I just want to say, this is going to be my last video before I biochemically start transitioning female. 
What I mean by that is tomorrow afternoon around 5.15 p.m. my time, I'm going to be going to my um, LGBT clinic known as the Mazzoni Center and have a consultation with their transgender specialist, Dr. Melanie Santiago, or as, as she's called at the clinic, Mo. Um, the first consultation on hormones, uh, just go over what, what are the risks and whatever. Um, pretty much stuff I already know. Um, a very likely spoiler, um, do not mind the crying in the background, that, are, those, that is my neighbors. Um, very likely spoilers for what's about to happen first. Um, I will be on T blockers first, um, testosterone blockers, or as they're known um, on the streets here in Philly, uh, T burgers. <laughs> T burgers. Um, to, that is to get my testosterone down to more manageable levels, you know, make me ripe for to start taking estrogen in pill form within either a month or two or three later. And then later on, within, I don't know, four to five to six months, um, we'll be on the injectables um, for, um, for um, estrogen and spiral. Uh, but that, however, how d that depends on how quickly um, the clinic acts and to make sure I have no pre-existing conditions. Um, I doubt I have any pre-existing conditions. The only thing that will probably hold up the process um, will be the um, the fact that I have no medical insurance. And it's very hard to get insurance if you're transgender, and especially myself. I've been without insurance for years. So it's like, eh, I'm definitely going to be paying for this transition as best I can, you know. But then again, all I've said within that timetable, that could be sped up, that could be slowed down, that could be, you know, pretty much left the same, I really don't know. Um, I will find out, you know, uh, in time. Um, other news, I'm really excited, you know, for, the, for this. I have been waiting for this since... I've been wanting to be a girl since 16 years old, and... This is something I really want to get done this decade before I get too old and, you know, too much of my life has passed by at age 35 and whatever. I want to do it now while I'm still young and the testosterone has not taken over at age 24. So, that's pretty much it. I, I love you guys for, you know, all your support and if you have any questions about the process, um, you can post them on this video's uh, comment section below, or um, I will have a journal up with the video as well um, on my DeviantArt. So um, this is ADF Gwen Saluda saying I love you guys, and keep keep me in your thoughts tomorrow when I see my doctor. And I'm not gonna stay. Or I'm going to say without further ado, thank you for watching and keep an eye on adfwensaluda.deviantart.com for updates. Till then, bye! Her first transition appointment with a doctor was scheduled for July, but the doctor was forced to cancel it due to a family emergency. ADF was unhappy with this and claimed she would start looking on the streets for extra legal slash illegal grey or black market estrogen and spironocolatine. After this, she attended the Philadelphia Dyke March in cosplay as Sasuke. After much criticism and sceptical comments about her transition, she responded, I am not a fake transsexual. The hormones are essential to the legitimacy of my existence as a woman. Simple as that. Wars have been fought over access to resources. Estrogen is a resource. I need access to continue living. I will fight one goddamn war if I have to for it. She was getting very desperate with her transition.
not even being able to wait a couple weeks. And for the sake of convincing her followers about whether or not she was real, she posted a timeline of events to chronicle her transition, enlisting moments in her childhood that showed signs of gender dysphoria. Much of this timeline was untrue, such as saying her birth name was Philippe V. Delicias, and that she was confirmed intersex. She also claimed in this timeline that her childhood attempt at toilet training failed as My father tried to force me to stand up and urinate. First disgust and disdain complaints over my male genitals are aired and subsequently ignored by both parents. While this was going on, ADF was also encountering issues at work, having hours cut and falling out with colleagues who were unsupportive of her being trans. This made her desire to leave Wawa and get a new job. Jacqueline, however, questioned ADF's ability to find a new career for herself if she quit. She was crying and freaking out to me and saying it's my fault I'm transitioning and may make her homeless. She doesn't say us. No, she only says her because either that was a Freudian slip on her part or she does not see me as part of the family these days. Also, it said I didn't have proof, yet I filed for unemployment compensation yet. Which I did not get around to doing yet because there was a fucking anime convention called Inuchicon last weekend. Later in that week she quit. Before they had the chance to fire me. The doctor's appointment went ahead as planned and ADF was given the all clear to start an estrogen at the end of August. She picked up her prescriptions, dressed up as Sakura, and then posted about this afterwards, saying, Went to my doctor today, and yes, Ahuvia Haral, only her, dressed as Sakura Haruno for the occasion. This magical blue slip of paper says the following. Spironoclatine. 50 milligrams, TPO BID, 60. Estradiol, one milligram, TPO BID, 60. Both prescriptions are in pill form. I decided not to do the injectable hormones, cause, well, not because I'm afraid of needles, but my body does not heal well enough after being constantly pricked with needles in the same area over and over again. My long awaited hormone therapy has begun. I signed my informed consent agreements and had my doctor sign the necessary form for me to change my gender marker on my ID from male to female with motor vehicles this week. Oh great, Britain, France and America are fighting again over nothing. Why can't you just dominate your people with a totalitarian government? On August 12th, ADF purchased a new costume for herself based on the character of China from the anime Italia Axis Powers. This character was known to hold communist beliefs. Seems simple enough. China take all. You can go home. With this costume, ADF had now found a new character she could embody. In the past, she had taken health, lifestyle and gender identity from the characters she cosplayed. Maybe taking a character's politics was the next step in her new identity.